Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today is a very exciting day. Uh, today is June 27th, 2023, and Spirit Halloween has released, or maybe it was leaked, I forget if it was leaked or released, but they haven't actually released it yet, but a video came out showing some of their new animatronics for their 40th anniversary. Not all of them, but some of them, and we have some pictures right here to go over. Uh, I did post the video, the whole, um, Spear Alley 2023 animatronic video showing them in action, some of them in action, uh, it's the video before this, if you want to go check that out, if you haven't already, but, um, this, I'm just going to be going over, uh, some of the photos of the animatronics that were in that video, and, uh, giving you my opinions on them from what I saw in the video, so, first one we have here is Poor George, the clown. So, um, the thing is, this guy, for me, is absolutely awesome. Uh, the concept of him looks amazing, and his mouth is all bloody, which is just something that I think we've been all looking for, is more gore in Spirit Halloween's uh, in-store props and animatronics. Um, so, this guy looks absolutely awesome. I am really looking forward to poor George, this guy right here. He looks awesome, and look at him. His legs aren't there. Um, he, uh, apparently if you go into the description, it says something about him being like in a very, uh, traumatic, like accident with a car and his like, his legs got like sliced off of his body or like disconnected from his body. Um, so of course his legs aren't there, but he has really long arms as you can see. And, uh, from what I saw in the video, he like his whole upper body with his head spins around but his arms just stay in the same place, but it spins around and makes, like, crazy sounds, I think. So, this guy looks absolutely awesome. He is a very, truly creepy clown, in my opinion, and I am really looking forward to seeing him in person. Um, you know, I really hope my local Spirit Halloween is in the same building this year, uh, and I think it will be, because I just checked yesterday, and uh, there's no business that has taken over that building, so Spirit Halloween will probably be there yet again. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, here we have the, uh, the Black Heart animatronic. This is a, as you can see, it's a reaper holding a very gruesome looking woman. Um, and this one might be, like, this one might be my favorite of the year, or one of my favorites of the year at least. This one just a looks absolutely awesome. I always love it when there's like an animatronic that made by Spirit when it's like where it's like two uh, like characters, the Reaper and the woman. That looks absolutely <coughs> sorry. <laughs> that looks absolutely awesome. Um, you know, this all hit me hard. I mean, this all just came at me at once. I randomly searched Spirit Halloween 2023 on YouTube and went to the most recent post of videos, and then it sh and then I saw a whole video showing all these animatronics, so that's just really cool. Uh, yeah, I really do like this one, the Black Heart. Nothing much to say about it, it's just I really like it. The Reaper looks really cool, and the Lady, that looks very bloody and creepy. Um, just very, very cool. I'm looking forward to seeing him uh, in person. Then, of course, Creepy, Ri cr sorry, Creepy Rising Doll has returned for their 40th anniversary as an online only, so I won't be seeing this one in person, unfortunately, but uh, still pretty cool uh, to return as an online only. Um, so yeah, that's Creepy Rising Doll, uh, and yeah, I do really like them, actually, so, yeah. Um, here we have Dagger Mike, and this is definitely not one of my favorites of the year, but he still actually looks better than what I thought he was going to look like. So, originally I thought this was going to be some, from the description I read, it, I thought it was going to be some, like, weird kid, and obviously it is a kid, it's a clown that's a kid, but... And I thought it wasn't going to be that scary. But as you can see right here from this photo, it actually does look pretty creepy. There, I mean, there, there's some blood all over his shirt. And he has a very evil-looking grin. Um, uh, he's just very cool, in my opinion. Definitely not one of my favorites of the year. But the fact that I still like him, and he's not one of my favorites of the year, just goes to show how great Spirit Halloween did with their animatronics this year. Uh, I, I am really looking... I am really just liking how Spirit ended up this year. This is amazing for their 40th anniversary. Here we have the Death Stalker. Now, 
Um, this one is another online only, and um, I guess it's kind of uh, easy to understand because this one looks absolutely just nightmarish and just creepy. This one looks absolutely amazing. Um, whoa. Uh, so this is the Deathstalker. Um, I can't even, like, what? Okay, I thought this was going to be a werewolf when I first saw the tombstone with his name in the claws. But, as you can see, it's some messed up creature that I don't even know how to explain. Um, it just looks so creepy and terrifying. And, uh, and I'm going to be honest, I'm kind of glad it's not in stores. This would probably creep me the frick out. But, um, yeah, that's the Death Stalker. Really cool. Uh, here we have my least favorite of the year. Um, this is probably one of their budget props of the year. This is uh, the Eternal um, what's it, Eternal Rest. Um, yeah, this is definitely my least favorite of the year. Um, but it does fit in with the graveyard theme pretty well. So as you can, as you can see, it is a it is a gravestone with a like a stone reaper kind of thing on the top of it, and I think the head spins around, the eyes light up and stuff like that, um, so yeah, this one I'm not, not too big a fan of, I don't really like it that much, to be honest, uh, you know, I'm more of a fan of the life-size ones, this one's not really that life-size in my opinion, so, yeah, um, this one's probably my least favorite of the year so far, but it's still, um, pretty cool for the graveyard theme. Okay, this one, oh my god, this one I love. So this is Heckles, Heckles the Clown. And this guy, uh, fun fact, I, I'm pretty sure that the voice actor for Heckles is actually um, the same voice actor as Waving Wally, if you see Waving Wally way back from uh, Spirit Halloween 2019. Uh, because I heard his phrase in the Spirit Halloween 2023 animatronic video that was released today. Um, and that sounds a lot like Waving Wally, and to be honest, he kind of looks a lot like Waving Wally. Um, I mean, his hair, um, I mean, I guess Waving Wally didn't, I mean, this guy is honestly better than Waving Wally, in my opinion. He's a lot creepier, in my opinion. Uh, as you can see, he's like, he has a sign that says, Balloons, 10 cents. He's holding a balloon, um, and his face is all creepy, and his outfit's pretty cool, it has blood on it, I think, and, uh, he just looks absolutely awesome. Uh, wow. Can't wait to see him in stores, that's for sure. Uh, he might be my favorite clown of the year, or one of my favorite clowns of the year. I think I might like poor George better than this guy. But this guy's still really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing him in person. Um, Heckles, wow. And then you can see like he has like some s scar on his head and stuff like that. Wow. I I'm looking forward to him. He looks really cool. Okay, here we have the uh, the new uh, Spiraling Leatherface animatronic. Um, this, I I have lots of mixed feelings about this one. Um, for one, um, I haven't seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacre yet. I haven't seen that movie yet, so I, I can't really uh, say too much about this one. Um, I will say it looks pretty cool. Um, it looks pretty realistic to the one in the movie that I've seen from photos. Um, and I do like how it, you know, has the jigsaw or chainsaw, whatever. Um, yeah, he still looks really cool. Um, and I'm glad he's pretty movie accurate. Um, but yeah, he looks pretty cool. And this is one that is, oh, I really like. Um, this is Slim from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yes, that's right, they're having a new Killer Clowns from Outer Space animatronic this year. And this is Slim. Uh, this guy is literally seven feet tall, so he was a towering clown. Um, he is very expensive, but of course, I'm not going to be buying him, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, he is $400. Um, he is huge, and he has mouth animation, which Shorty actually doesn't, um, but Slim does. They, had, they actually decided to have a mouth animation for uh, Slim. So that's very cool. His face, he's, he's very movie accurate. He's holding that uh, weird uh, bag or whatever. Um, his outfit is very movie accurate. His face is very movie accurate. Everything about this guy is so just movie accurate from the actual Slim from the movie Killer Clowns from Outer Space. And this guy's just very 
creepy and very cool, in my opinion. I love this guy. I can't wait to see him in person. And then here we have Stilts, another clown for this year. Stilts, the uh, towering clown. This is another towering clown, as you can probably tell from the photo, just by looking at the photo. Um, this guy, I really do like. Um, I think Spirit Halloween really did a great job with their clowns this year. Um, I know clouds don't really fit that well into a cemetery theme, but at least they did well with their clowns this year. Uh, lots of their clowns this year are just really good. So this is Stilts. Um, I believe he's like 7 feet. He might even be 8 feet. I forget. Um, I think he's like 7.8 feet tall. Um, his face is just so creepy, and he's holding two bloody um, bowling pins. So that's very cool. Um... I originally thought he was going to be juggling them, but he it looks like he's not. It looks like he's just holding them, and he has his, and his head literally twists like Miserable Marie. Or no, not Miserable Marie. Uh, I forget the name. Um, Crunchy Bones, as that Nate guy on YouTube would call her. I forget the name. I, I'm, I'm trying to think. Was it... Uh... Yeah, I forget her name, but um, you probably know who I'm talking about. But yeah, his head... Uh, spins, uh, rotates as it crunches, I think, and it plays, like, creepy audio. His outfit's very cool. I like that striped outfit. Um, and he's just very cool. Um, but yeah, um, those are all the photos and all the animatronics I'll be talking about. Um, of course, there are more to come because, of course, this is not Spirit Halloween's whole lineup. Of course, Hellspawn, we still have yet to see him. And, uh, the Cauldroness and Desmodus. And probably a few others that weren't even in the Spirit Hallows uh, teaser. So yeah, uh, that is me covering the new, uh, I guess, leaked Spirit Halloween 2023 40th Anniversary animatronics from the video we got today. Um, of course, there are more to come, so expect more Spirit Halloween 2023 sneak peek content coming in the future. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is getting me super excited for Spirit Halloween's 40th anniversary, and I cannot wait to celebrate it. Cannot wait for my local Spirit Halloween to open, hopefully in August. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of it, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.